It's big. It's brawny. It's blue. Yeah, it's a 2019 Ford Raptor. I'm going to tell you everything you know about this new model and the features it comes with all in this video coming up right now. It's Semester Law Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk, and my passion is pickups and SUVs. And today I have a 2019 Ford Raptor. I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you about the outside. I got a bit dirty the other day playing at the farm. So I'm gonna show you that video. I'm gonna do some B roll of what it looked like was it clean. And then I'm gonna take it through the inside, tell you about the new features. We're gonna do all that coming right now. Okay, let's get a look at this thing when it's all nice and clean. Of course, I'm going to use rolling footage here as we go off-road and get it dirty. So there's just something about the Ford Raptor. When you look at it versus a stock F-150, you can see the differences. You see the bigger hood with the, uh, got some air vents in it. You see the Ford spelled out in front. It's new front fascia. you got electronic locking rear differential on it. You have the really cool Raptor stickers on the side. 13 inches wheel travel in the front, 13.9 inches of wheel travel in the back, thanks to the suspension. And it just looks like a beefier version of F-150 all the way around. There's no mistaking a Ford Raptor on the road. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about this new uh, Ford Raptor on the inside. So interior hasn't changed a whole lot. We still have the window controls. We have the door controls over here. Have some carbon fiber here, which is a very uh, typical, been the same way with Raptor for a while. Uh, we have the, the uh, mirror controls and the light controls there. And over here, we have your steering wheel that's got your um, USB or your volume controls and then your cruise control. And this is a cruise control over here, but it has a dual purpose now. We have the speedometer. If I can get the sun glare off of there, it's going to be all right in there. Um, and we have, oh. I have a cool feature, a Ford Pass connected, and if you do this, there's a video I'm going to link to. I have a iPhone watch, and if I, uh, or Apple watch, I should say. Sorry, it's really cold outside, and I'm losing my train of thought, but um, if I go to the Ford app, I can pull it up, and I have Raptor kind of put there in the screen. If I hold down the lock button or hold down the uh, unlock button, or even the power button, I can turn the truck on and off or lock the doors. It's a, kind of a cool little feature. So here's our center stack. We have another carbon fiber there on the shifter. Uh, lane departure alert right there, and you can turn it on and off. You see kind of my junk in here. You can see the massive key. This I've kind of having fun with this this week. This is a massive key fob for this Raptor. Uh, really big. It kind of goes with the truck. Um, and we have uh, heated seats there. Trailer back, backup control. This is where you, uh, you can engage this and as you turn it it actually turns the way you would think it would it kind of reverses the engineering so as you turn right the trailer turns right if you turn left the trailer turns left um, and then we have the uh, I have a locking differential here two high four high and four automatic so uh, new this year is gonna be right up in here so they're calling that trail control it's right there it's kind of like, Toyota's got something very similar to that as well we have a park assist there um, when you press this button it'll turn on their trail control enabled and what you do is you use the controls here to set the speed. And it sets the speed on cruise control how you want to go up. And it, the truck uses the uh, four-wheel drive and the locking differential to also maintain traction and keep you at a consistent speed on the trails. So that's new this year. Uh, we have a new two-tone Recaro seats right here. I'll show you these. These are beautiful looking seats. There is a insert. It's like a blue insert into those seats. And it's got the cool Raptor stitching. It's just a great looking truck. Um, I have a, plenty of room in the rear. Kids have been loving it back there. And I have a big pano sunroof or moonroof or a big window. I don't know what you can call it these days, but it's huge. And I got some dirt on it, as you can see, um, when you have fun. Oh, and I got really uh, uh, neat for off-roading and for uh, purposes as far as installing additional lighting. I have a bunch of aux uh, buttons here. Uh, maybe even doing a comp compressor in the back. And then I have my controls for the... Um, for the sunroof, moonroof, whatever it is. And then I have my garage door controls. So uh, it's a pretty nice, comfortable interior. Uh, not much to complain about. I do love the red on top here, so you can kind of see where dead center is at. The steering wheel, I have the cool Raptor logo right there. 
Uh, it's just, it's a fun truck to drive around. You know, I'm gonna go through the GoPro on there and we'll go for a drive. All right, before I hit the road on this, I want to make sure I go over my numbers app for this vehicle. This is the 2019 F-150 Raptor. It's a 4x4 with a Super Crew. It's got 145-inch wheelbase, 3.5-liter V6 EcoBoost inside. It's high-output EcoBoost. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. It's got a 10-speed automatic transmission with the tow, tow mode. The exterior color is a velocity blue. Interior, it's blue ascent with the Recaro seats we talked about earlier. Recaro seats are new. We have the trail, I want to make sure I say it right, trail control is new. And we have new three inch internal bypass shocks with live valve technology. These live valve technology in the shocks, they're supposed to adjust in real time to changing road conditions and changing uh, environments you're driving across. So they will adjust on the fly. The trail control system, Ford says, like a super cruise control for low speed rugged terrain. Automatically adjusting to send power and braking each individual wheel to allow drivers to focus on steering along the trail and new Recaro seats. So we went over that stuff. Um, I'm looking at, I have equipment group 802A. That's going to be a Raptor series. I have a power sliding rear window, 410 front axle with torsion diff. 410 front axle or rear axle? Hmm. Say rear axle. Uh, 360 degree camera. I have the blind spot with trailer tow monitoring, uh, electronic auto temp control, and right over there, heated steering wheel, which I'm turning on. It's really cold today, <laughs> so I was freezing outside. Uh, integrated inflatable rear safety belts. These are interesting. So the, the belts themselves, when they come down, I can't show you here. When they come down, it's a whole thing. It's inflatable. The things I noticed with this is really hard for my kids to buckle up with those seat belts. Um, kind of a pro and con there. Uh, integrated trailer brake controller, LED box lighting, LED side mirror spotlights which the button's here, and I have the uh, Pro Trailer Backup System. I talked about that a little bit. Uh, remote Start System, that's going to be in the uh, in the ginormous key fob, and also the watch, if you have that option. And the uh, voice-activated navigation, I have a B&O Premium Sound System in here as well. Um, our MSRP, this is interesting, it doesn't show MSRP. The really big lettering says, Vehicle Not For Sale. So you look it up, and it ranges from 52000 that's the starting price, 52855 which, honestly, I challenge you to find one in that price range. Um, if I was a dealer, I wouldn't order it. I'd order the more expensive one. I mean, I don't know. That'd just be me. Uh, range goes up to 65000 So I would imagine this one fully loaded. It's probably a 65 range. I went online to build it. Oh, I got some ice there. I went online to build it, and that's what it turned out to be. Was When I built it, it was 65. dollars um, If I put, plugged all this information in here, that's in this truck specifically. So that's probably we're looking at. I don't see a lot of discounts in the Raptors because, well, come on. It's badass. Dealers aren't going to get these discounts on this. You're going to pay full price. Um, you know, I've driven the 14 model year, and now this is the 19 model year. I've driven this truck 115 miles an hour in the desert. I've driven it off-road in Wyoming in the dirt, and I've driven it down the road. I mean, I've driven this truck quite a bit as far as on pavement and off pavement. I, I, uh, I always find that on pavement... It does pretty well, considering how bulky the tires are and how off-road the tires are when you uh, look at them. They're just really a meaty tire. And so you do expect a lot more road noise and by and more kind of harshness as you're riding down the road, and it really does, doesn't do that. It does a really nice job. Now, as far as live-action shocks, um, or live valve shocks, yeah, live valve, sh live-action shock valves. <laughs> What's the terminology you use for that? Let's look it up real fast. It's going to be the new uh, classic exclusive Fox internal bypass shocks with live valve technology. There you go, haters. Put the comments below. I don't know what I'm talking about today. Live valve technology. As far as whether that's better than the prior generation, frankly, I haven't been able to tell. I've driven it uh, pretty fast here and there, and I can't really feel a difference. It's, to me, a very comfortable ride. Either way, um, I'm sure it's an improved ride because uh, they're touting it and it's probably better. Um, but I got to tell you, I, I don't see that as a big improvement. What I do like is I like the Recaro seats. I'm usually not a fan of Recaro seats because, well, I'm a little bit of a bigger guy and they tend to hug my sides a little bit, especially in the sports seats. But these have plenty of room. And I love the, the two-tone blue in here. That's really nice. 
Um, I, like, I really like that styling. And finally, I tried trail control the other day, um, going up a little bit of climb. I didn't really get to test it as much as I wanted to because I had a bit of an issue getting stuck and I uh, did not want to repeat that. So I, <laughs> I tried trail control and uh, it seems like it works all right. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's going to be better or worse than Toyota's system. Um, I, you know, Toyota's system there is very loud when you use their system. Um, the name is escaping me, but I'll put a link above to what they told us call it. It's their marketing term for it. Uh, the uh, system is very loud. It has a very much of a grinding noise as you're driving and using their system. This is very clean. There's no sound. You don't hear the grinding at all. I don't know if it's a better system or not. I would have to get them both side by side, bury them in sand, and hit the button and do a film both ways, which I'd like to do. Um, I just don't have the opportunity to do it right now. So I, I don't know that it's going to be a, a better or worse, I think, for the people that are going to use it uh, in that application. I think that the trail control is probably going to be the same. I don't think you're going to see a whole lot of benefits um, for the average person. I think a true hardcore off-roader is going to notice some, some of the benefits, but I think the true off Rotor is going to put his own modifications on there and his own um, aftermarket parts anyways. So I don't know how much that system is going to get used. There you go. This is the high output V6. If you have an experience with this, you're going, well, where's the big exhaust note? And I'll play a clip. Yeah, so it's not a great exhaust note. There's no way around that. Ford did an admirable job to make it sound better, but it's what it is. I mean, it's just it's a it's a twin turbo small displacement V6. It's fine. Uh, I have no problem with it. I you know I kind of wish that it would have a better exhaust note, but I like the power. So it's a pro and con. This in the high output V6 is faster than a 6.2 liter V8. It's quicker off the line. It's it's quicker to get up to speed, and so it's a faster riding or driving pickup. However, it doesn't sound as good. So there's your pro and con. Uh, frankly, the Raptor is one of my favorite pickups. Uh, it's something that I think is awesome that Ford did. It's a halo truck. They've sold a lot of other trucks just because they have this, because people go in a lot and they want to know more about this Ford Raptor and they're going to go ahead and purchase it. Uh, I've always, like I said, I've always had a great time driving it. I'm, every time I get one, I'm excited for it. As a practical everyday pickup, eh, I don't know if I, this would be my choice. Uh, you know, the, it's, it sits a taller. It's got a higher, uh, a wider stance. It, on a practical level, it makes it a little bit hard to park. It makes it a little bit hard to use the bed because you know, I'm 5'6 or 5'7, depending on the day. I got boots on today. I might actually be 5'9. So uh, it makes it hard to get in the bed and use because of the higher height. So as a practical everyday driver, probably not the one for me, but come on. It's a Raptor. I mean, I, you know, I, I just, I drive it around and I immediately, my, it's like the steering wheel steers me to the dirt and it steers me to fun and it encourages me to go faster. And uh, I'd just be concerned how many tickets I would get in this thing because it's so fast up to speed. So I'm going to go ahead and flip here and flip around and we'll kind of do how fast gets the speed. I don't have my handy dandy timer. I'm not uh, a, a TFL friends, but uh, I got to tell you, 0 to 60 in this is fantastic. Just from an everyday driving feeling, you know, I don't need a number. I like to know what it feels like just as an everyday driver, as it feel fast. So, you know, putting it down. You know, uh, there, there's 60. That's undisclosed speed. So, I mean, it, it's so fast, and it's a lot of fun to drive, and it's expensive. There you go. <laughs> kind of sums up the Ford Raptor. It's beastly. It's badass looking. It's fast. It's fun to drive and it's expensive. So it's got everything that makes America America. Right? It's awesome. So for more awesome stuff, make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification for more uh, crazy Wyoming, Nebraska videos I do. Uh, hit the pickuptrucktalk.com. It's the website for all the news stories and reviews. And I put a bunch of uh, YouTube videos on there as well. You can kind of go back and forth and check it out. Uh, find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you type in Pickup Truck Talk, we're there. Trust me, we're there. Just type it in. We'll find us. Thanks for watching. I hope you had fun. I'll see you down the road.